people. Uh, we're back with a conundrum yet again with the fiat. Uh, as we start putting things back together, uh, we end up having problems we now have to solve. So we are currently working on the pieces to the door panels. And what you were looking at right here is the upper trim piece that goes closest to the window, okay? So here's the original piece, as rough as that looks. That's the driver's side, this is the driver's side. But this is the, right there, that's what we're replacing. That's the window felts. So that's where the, rub, the window sits right here and rubs up against that. So this protects the window and also keeps the water from getting inside your door or something. Okay, so that trim piece that we purchased, that didn't come with this? No. Oh, you and we are not them. able to recycle this. No, this, I mean, if we were reusing this like the other side, I considered cleaning them, but this thing's really messed up with the, the mirror, so we couldn't. So we yeah. got new ones, because it's, it's actually in good shape. It would have cleaned up well, except for that. Right. So we have to replace them. Well, they don't come with these. You have to put new ones on. And this, so, so, so I'm looking at this and I'm like, eh. so let me take it off and see what's underneath. So I cut the rivets out or drilled them out. Okay. Comes right off. No big deal. This is the felt wrapped around this. I cleaned that stuff off and I'm like, eh, this is, I mean, it's definitely doable, but it would take a bit of work. So it sits this way. And I'm like, it would probably be easier just to fabricate a new one of these rather than soaking this in de-ruster and then taking the wire brush to it. Mm -hmm. It's just way more work. So off to Ace we go, and we get a 16th inch piece of aluminum. Just right here. Yeah. So it says a 16th of an inch, and it was just yeah. one big, long yeah, strip. About four foot of it. And you trimmed it down. Yeah, two 20 inch pieces. Cause so I you trimmed measured, it down to I that side. This 20 inches. Okay. And then it doesn't really matter where the holes are because you gotta redrill holes. I didn't really like where they put their holes. So I went one inch off center or off end. And then okay. from there, I just went every, you know, there's there's six of them, one or five of them, one, two, three, four, five holes. So basically one inch off each end and then it's nine inches to the center, and so then I put four and a half inches, four and a half inches, four and a half inches. So you got evenly spaced holes all the way around. Right. So okay. Then you got to so, drill. You got to drill holes. Mm -hmm. In all of in those all spaces. Those in the proper spaces. So we measured that. We used a caliper. It's basically it was like a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom edge, so that it's sitting at the edge of that. It has enough room to go through there. Drill them through. Clean all the rough spots off of them, round the corners a little bit on the edge here, just so they're not sharp. And you have two little pieces. So, and then what is this? This is the window felt. I'm now, not, is that. I'm not even sure if it's the proper is one. Is that actual window felt? Yeah. But whether or not it's actually a new kind design for this, or because I couldn't find anything similar to this. So I'll just use this. But, and it just so happened. It just so happens that, that it, it fits, fits perfectly. perfectly. It just slides right in. And this is, a lot of window felts don't come with felt. They're just rubber. Okay. So these ones come with felt because they're better for your window. But it, it just, I mean, those pieces. Do you slide, remember where you purchased that? It would either be Allison's or Auto Recombi. Okay, so there you now, go. Vicks our... we do buy some stuff from. But, but. Basically, Auto Recombi or Vix, and I got this from Auto Recombi. And so you match that up to the 79? Well, yeah, but okay. this was meant to be along the outside, but there was, and I can't find the other one. I don't know, you know, I thought that they were going to be, you know, the other stuff was for this, but it doesn't seem to fit. It doesn't seem to look anything like that. So I just had to figure, okay, let's do this. So you pulled a Jesse. It's yeah. not what you buy, it's kind of what you build, although we Just bought some of this, make it. but we make ended up work. having to literally But it fits perfectly fabricate. around, the, around the, uh, the aluminum bar. So basically, you are using, and how are you How are you installing that? Well, you drill, you drill the mark and drill the proper holes. Which we showed over here. And then you mark, you slide this on your piece of aluminum there, uh -huh. um, and then you poke holes in it, so you, you know, because it's kind of hard to... Which is... That's a, what I use that. A pick... 
this side and then add it goes right through just so okay. you can get the uh the hole the started through it okay and then you got to make sure that you have short rivets so, so show the, basically show the these are eighth inch diameter and okay. they go three sixteenths length so that's okay. just enough so that it doesn't hit anything through the opposite side yeah because the window's not coming through there but you don't want this thing's going to be hanging down on there. You don't want that hitting anything. You just got to right. make sure it's just long enough to get through there. Could have probably gone Which it with is. Remove your quarter finger. inch, but that's yeah, the proper that length. that looks good. Okay. And so, so you slide this on your piece of aluminum, line up the holes, make sure they're right. See how things measure twice, cut once. That thing. And, uh, uh -huh. and then, and then show the rib nut. Because in case people haven't seen this done, this is that's not a rib nut. This is a rivet gun. Rivet pop gun. Rivet. This is pop rivets. Okay, whatever. Pop I rivets. I guess it matters. Um, but you can see those there. And so you just poked that mm -hmm. in this way. So the long end is sticking up. Yeah. Okay. And then. I okay. And well, then, you know, again. Then it just slides. Make sure that the fabric and all the, the rubber is all going through the other side so that you don't rivet something and it doesn't hold anything. Mm -hmm. Looks like a little nail. Find the right size hole. Put it in there. And then you... It doesn't get your finger as long as you're not... And then you just... A couple of times. There you go. Pops it off. Yeah, it looks like that. And there you go. Thank you. Okay. We do that two more times, and then we can pick this up and show you what it's going to look like. Because he's not going to install it yet. Again, we're not installing the door panels until the motor comes back. We don't want anybody mucking up our brand new doors. Now we used the smaller head and it popped it off with one click, but you couldn't get the end out. So we went one up. Okay, that's good, one more. One more. Hello Winnie, how are you, you beautiful girl? All right. Pinch together there. Yeah, I can do it the other way. I can't, okay. I can't. can't do it that direction, huh? Nope. Well, you'll have to hold that. I do not own the music in the background. Don't copyright me. We're listening to Pandora. This is... It's the light jazz station. Peter. Some W something. Oh, it doesn't matter. Peter White. Okay, Peter White. This is your music. Thank you. All right, and then turn it around. And you show the peoples that's what it looks like. And there's where the window comes up. It's rubber, but it's felt on the inside. Isn't that just beautiful? Well, we put in our little yep. things. That's the same thing. Measure a bunch of holes, drill the holes. We clean those off in a brass cleaner. Now these are the original clips yeah. that came with the with the actual door. We did save all those. Yeah. And they cleaned up. That one could use mm -hmm. a little bit more. Because the, the door panel is actually gonna hook to those. Right? Well the trim piece does and then yeah. the two pieces on the end, it's okay. got two little screws somewhere in this vicinity. Which will show that, that. clip into the mm -hmm. the door card so that it all becomes one. And that's from seventy nine on. Before that they're I think 78 and earlier, it's just one big door card. Yeah. It doesn't have this two pieces. So we'll film the installation of this, but since we ended up with such a conundrum and the final product actually ended up really, really, really good. And it was really simple actually to do. It didn't take you that long either, did it? So yeah, so there's, there's your but problem here you can, solved. Here you can show them this is, this takes a couple of minutes to do just because uh, now you used your drill press for this, I'm assuming, correct? I Just a hand drill? Okay. Right here. Just regular old drill. There you go. I like the drill press, but there's so many car parts on my workbench right now, it's not worth the effort of cleaning it out. Well, this is true. The whole basement is just an absolute wreck with just car parts everywhere. 
this is what we get for being ready, right? <laughs> well, I mean, you got to take all the parts off. But, yeah. So that's just that's just lined up. You line okay. it up with the you know the corner. Just compare it to the old one, and it's lined right up with that. And you drill your holes. Then this is the this was the part that I was. Now I, I'm assuming you probably could do something like this. Probably be easier, but I just pushed it right in from the edge, and it fits perfectly. <laughs> and was not planned. No. It just. Uh, well, I mean, I eyeballed it. But stuff, you got lucky. But... You got a little lucky. Well, I said I eyeballed it. That's yeah. all I did. I didn't really measure. It'd probably be easier just to, to do it like this, but but it because it's felt all the way through, so it starts getting it starts getting. Uh, a lot of friction once you get towards the end. Tell the people what you lost the other day that you couldn't find that I found for you. Oh, I pulled a, I pulled an Elvis bill to my Sharpie. <laughs> Literally, what was the first thing out of your mouth? Where's my goddamn Sharpie? <laughs> I found it the next morning with a little note that said, I found your goddamn Sharpie. <laughs> That's an ode to Jesse and Elvis builds. By the way, I need his little Hermie hammer. We don't have one, do we? Nope. Ah, they I love it. They I need one of those. You could that would be a really good Christmas uh, yeah. stucking stepper. Well, the thing is, is I don't. Shape I might a whole look at. I might need one of those. You never. A ball peen hammer is used for lots and lots of things, but yeah, it's an itty bitty it's, little ball peen hammer, ball and peen I absolutely love are it. Hammers used for shaping metal. Really, Whatever. they're not really. They're not used for anything. Else. Shaping attitudes. Yeah. Well, yeah, that too. That 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 might work. So there you go. All right, you got you a quick little short video. Uh, episode whatever it is, we'll put it right there because I don't know. Uh, yeah, putting the door cards back on. And if you are having trouble trying to replace uh, the window felt, you've now got a way that you can very easily. We're making those bigger. Yep, just uh, fabricate your own. Put your comments down below. Uh, I will put on here replacing the door cards in case anyone needs the instructions. And if you guys got any questions, uh, or if you need to know exactly what it is that we use, hit us up in the comments. I promise we'll answer your back and we'll let you know. There you go. All right. You guys know the rules. Y'all stay safe, stay clean, and have a perfect day. Love you, bye.